In this week's video, I wanna talk about a somewhat obscure food labeling law here in the United States that allows some products with calories to actually be labeled as zero calorie products. And I'm also going to show you two examples of products that are labeled zero calories and how many calories are actually in each. And that's not to bash these particular products. Certainly, just because a product has some calories in it doesn't mean that it should be excluded if you are trying to lose weight. As a matter of fact, we approve both of these products in all of our weight loss programs. This is about information. If you are trying to change your diet or trying to lose weight, you should know exactly what you are doing, exactly what you are putting into your body, and the food label should not be misleading in my opinion. So with that being said, if you are interested in what we do and you're ready to take an active role in your weight loss, Take three minutes, click in the description box below once you're finished watching this video, and take the quick three-minute survey. It will give you an answer right away if one of our programs might be right for you or potentially not, but you have nothing to lose except for three minutes of your time. The link will be in the description box below. So here is the somewhat obscure rule in a nutshell. So basically for terms such as calorie free or no calories or zero calories, the food must contain less than five calories per typical serving amount. So if per the serving amount on the packaging there is less than five calories, legally the product can be labeled as a zero calorie product. It can say that it contains no calories. The key term in that sentence was typical serving amount, typical serving size. And I will show you here in just a second when I show you the two examples, how that can definitely be manipulated to get under that five calorie cutoff. All right, so let's first look at a really common product, um, breath mints. These are Tic Tacs. I just happen to have the orange flavor. And we'll look at the nutrition label specifically. So if you look at the nutrition facts, you can definitely see that this product is labeled as a zero calorie product. But then if you look down at the ingredients, the main ingredient is sugar. So what this basically is, is a sugar tablet, a sugar pill. And we all know that sugar contains calories. So again, the key is going to be to look at the serving size. And then we can just simply do a calculation to determine how much each one of these little Tic Tacs has as far as calories go. So if we look at the serving size, it is one mint which is 0.5 grams. So basically, one of these Tic Tacs contains 0.5 grams of sugar. Now, I don't know about you, maybe it's just me, but I don't ever remember eating just one Tic Tac at a time. I think typically people take two to three Tic Tacs per serving or, or when they're trying to freshen their breath or whatever they are doing. I don't know anybody that just does one Tic Tac at a time. So I don't particularly believe that that is a quote, typical serving size, but let's go by the serving size and I'll tell you exactly how much sugar is in one Tic Tac. So if we do a quick Google search for how much one gram of sugar has as far as calories go, we'll see that one gram of sugar is four calories. And again, we are looking at one mint, which is 0.5 grams. So you're talking about there being two grams of sugar per serving or per Tic Tac. So every time you eat one of these little Tic Tacs, you're actually getting two grams of sugar. Now, why they didn't go with two mints because that would still be under the five calorie cap. It would be four calories for two mints. I don't know, but they went with one. So if you're eating one Tic Tac, you're getting two calories. If you're eating two Tic Tacs, you're getting four calories. All right, an example number two here, I have 100% pure avocado oil spray. It would be something that you would either spray on like you would butter or maybe coat a pan with. And this one is particularly particularly tricky with the nutrition label and the serving size. So let's look at the label. So you'll see again that it is a zero calorie product. It's zero across the board, zero calories, zero fat, zero carbohydrates, zero everything. But then if we look down at the ingredients, the only ingredient is avocado oil. And of course, avocado oil has calories. So the key here is we look up at the serving size and check this out. The serving size is one 
quarter second spray. So you're just basically touching the button and letting it go and that's the serving size. And that, they say, will give you 0.25 grams of avocado oil. So let's do the math and find out what a serving size, what they say a serving size actually has as far as calories. So again, a real quick Google search will give us the answer. In one gram of avocado oil, there are nine calories and their serving size is 0.25 grams. So again, we're just gonna say about two calories every quarter second spray. But again, the key to this is who does a quarter second spray? I don't even know if I could hit this button and let it go in a quarter of a second. If you're coating a pan or spraying your rice because you want some avocado oil on your rice or your broccoli or whatever, you're going to use more than a quarter of a, a second spray. Typically, I would say the minimum would be about a one second spray. If you're spraying a pan, shh, something like that, about a second, maybe two seconds. So I would propose that even though by the nutrition label and by the serving size, you're only getting about two calories per quarter second spray. If you're really using this, I think as most people would, you're gonna get about nine, 10 calories per spray. The real issue here is if you eat 20 Tic Tacs or you absolutely doused your food in avocado oil and then still think you are adding zero calories to your food when that just simply is not true. So the moral of the story is to understand these products and the serving sizes and how food manufacturers can manipulate these serving sizes to make their products appear to be zero calories. And certainly these and other zero calorie products can be used when you're trying to lose weight very readily, very easily. You just want to know that they are not actually zero calories. You are adding calories to your diet but in a, in my opinion, negligible way. You're not gonna be adding enough calories really to pump the brakes on good fat metabolism. If your weight loss is stalling, most likely we're going to be looking somewhere else. But again, you do wanna stay within or a little bit above the serving size suggestions. All right, I hope that was helpful and informative. Again, to get pre-screened for one of our programs, click the link in the description box below. And until next time, everybody stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll catch everyone in the next video.